past tutorials in our previous lecture we had studied about control statements we use control statements for altering the flow of execution of our programs and uh, there are three control statements selection iteration or looping and jump statements so we had seen about selection statements and uh, selection statements were used to select a a particular execution path based on some condition if the condition was true it would execute that path or it would execute some other path that was the work of selection statements in this lecture we'll study about iteration or looping statement now what is the work of these statements with these statements we can execute a set of statements repeatedly in our program and how do we execute this group of statements repeatedly Uh, these statements will be executed as long as some specified condition is true so once the condition becomes false the control will be transferred out of the loop so there are three iteration or looping statements used in java they are uh, while statement do while and for statement so let's see the while statement so the while statement takes this general format while expression statement now this expression basically represents the condition which may either be true or false so as long as this condition is true the statement following it will be executed the statement may be a simple statement or a compound statement a compound statement may be a collection of simple statements and in most cases we usually use compound statements after while though it's not a compulsion and uh, as long as this condition is true the statement will be executed now this while statement should include some feature that alters the expression so that the expression becomes false so once this expression becomes false only then we can come out of the loop because if there is no feature or no such a thing that alters this expression to become false then the loop will continue indefinitely so we need to include some feature within our statement that alters this expression and eventually the expression should become false this is what the while statement does it continues the execution until a stopping condition is reached will reach the stopping condition only when the expression becomes false and uh, this is also called an entry control loop Uh, we shall understand what is an entry control loop when we see the do while statement we'll come back to it so do while statement now what the while statement usually does is the while statement will execute the statement only if the condition is true that is it will first check this test of uh, repetition of the loop this is a test for repetition of the loop because only if this condition is true only then the loop will be executed so uh, as it will first check this condition and then it will execute the statement but in certain situations we want a statement should be executed first and the condition sh should be checked at the end so in such cases we make use of do while statement so it takes the general format do statement while expression that is that is it will first execute the statement and then it will test the condition this means that uh, the statement will execute at least once we cannot uh, skip the statement uh, however we can skip a statement in while loop suppose condition in the first pass pass itself is false that means the while loop will never execute while in do while statement the statement will be executed first and then the expression or the condition is tested so the do while loop will execute at least once and like while loop do while statement will also contain some uh, feature that alters the expression to become false and this will provide the terminating condition for the loop while and uh, the statement used here is not usually a simple statement it can also be a compound statement we call a do while statement as an exit control loop because it checks the condition after exiting from the loop body and uh, the while statement checks the condition before entering the loop body that is why it is called the entry control loop so this was about while and do while statement next we shall see the for statement the for statement is the most commonly used looping statement uh, it takes the general format 
for expression 1, expression 2, expression 3 statement. Now this might look a little complex but it is very simple. Expression 1 does the work of initialization. Expression 2 will test the condition for continuing the loop and expression 3 will alter the index. Now let's see what expression 1 does. It will do initialization that is will set some index here and will initialize it. So that index value satisfies the condition in expression 2 then the loop uh, then the statement will be executed and uh, after executing the statement we come here to this uh, we come back to state expression 3 and uh, uh, this expression 3 will alter the index we had set in expression 1 and uh, this will help us to go to the next pass so in the next pass again the same procedure will be repeated and uh, this loop will be executed as long as the condition uh, represented by expression 2 is true once this condition becomes false uh, the control is transferred out of the loop if we omit the second expression the compiler will think that it is by default true so the loop will continue indefinitely so we should not uh, skip the expression 2 while uh, expression 1 and 3 can be skipped and uh, we can also give two initializations instead of one and uh, we can write two expre uh, expressions instead of expression 3 but we can never write more than one uh, expression or the condition inside a single for loop the same work can also be done by while loop and the equivalent while loop can be written as expression 1 because we do the work of initialization first so we'll initialize some index here while expression 2 just like the while statement first tests the condition so it will test this condition over here and if the condition is true it will execute the statement here also when the condition was true the statement was executed and after the statement is executed for uh, proceeding to the next part we alter the index we had uh, initialized in expression 1 using the expression 3 so this is what the for statement also does it will after uh, testing the condition it will execute the statement and come back to expression 3 to alter the index and again it will proceed with the execution so this is the equivalent while loop and uh, this was about iteration or looping statements in the next lecture we shall see the jump statements and uh, the labeled break and continue i hope you all understood the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching